Come camera on. right down. You looking at me, fool? Y'all going to state? Y'all heard it here first. We're winning states this year. Say it, say it with your chest. Y'all heard it here first. We're winning states. Welcome to South Florida, the bottom of the clip of the gunshine state. Ha. One of them boys still boring in that way. Big plate, get it for the 18 if you straight. Get K and stop hating, it's the model of the state. Ha. A lot of face, but it's still real around here. That foreign talk, that can get you. Jay Average, oh. like, they got a kid named Marcus Average. Yeah. I think he averaged, like, either 18 or 28. Yeah. He averaged 28. He only had 10 points against us. Wow, what y'all did to him? We didn't box one. We played man, but we denied him the ball. Cause he right, basically said all the box one, man. No, nah, we played man. Man. But like we he him, we just limited his touches. So like we made it harder for him to get off. So like when so, he touched the ball, he's gonna go. Like he's not he's so gonna basically have I just didn't give him, give him the ball. How tall he is? Six seven. Six yeah, seven? Yeah. And he handled the ball? Yeah. So and he could shoot. So you said y'all denied him the ball. So all y'all in man, right? Yep. So, but when the ball out of bounds, with y'all face guarding, his I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say denied him the ball, but we just made it tough for him to get the ball, and then once he got it, we shrunk the court. Okay. So tell me this: How do you? Okay, he they get the ball into him. He got the ball at the top of the key, right? Mm -hmm. Or if he okay, let's say they get the ball into somebody else. Mm -hmm. How do y'all as a team make it harder for him to get the ball when you got your own man, he got his own man? Explain that. Everyone's in help mm -hmm. for the player with the ball. Yeah. But the man that's guarding him, they're not in help. So it's basically, it's basically like a man boxing one. You can say you that. Go, you guard, you guard your man, but you, you can really, say that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You help him. Yeah. yeah so you just know where he at. If he round you, you know get him. You bump him. Yeah, y'all make it tough on him. He yeah, it's 28. 28. Yeah. Every time yeah. he get the ball, you just make it, make him uncomfortable in the way he get the ball at. Just now, shrink the court so he has nowhere yeah. to go. And y'all, and y'all held him to 12. 10. 10. And what was the score? What was the final score? We beat him by 13. Oh really? Yeah. And who y'all got next? Pine Forest from Pensacola. You know anything about him? Nah. I got film on him, though. Yeah? Y'all go up there or they come down? Nah, we're we going we to go up there. Oh, so y'all was. This stage, the next stage, yeah. right? So, it's semi final then stage. So it's yeah. two games. So they two games. They're two games for y'all win it all. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's in, in Lake Minnesota? Yeah. It's always in Lake Yeah, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I don't think about football. Yeah, it is always in Lake Minnesota. It's always in Lake you did, you thought you knew y'all. I just talked to you about three weeks ago, dog. Mm -hmm. You knew y'all was going to state. I was just with talking trash got, to you and all. But the team we got, I know that if everyone play how we're supposed to play, playing straight hand basketball, we're winning states. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. No but Norlin, stop us. But but you y'all agree? Norlin was the favorite, doesn't night. I don't it agree. Was. You don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't agree. You don't agree. Right, right. You probably don't agree. favorite in my head. Right, right, right. I'm not agreeing with that. Right, right, right. But you, you, right. your coach said, yeah. It's consistent it's saying. It's, 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 on, it's there. Yeah, everybody the saying It's where? Where do they put favorites at? Nah, everybody was like, no. Oh, high school, like the high school, the yeah. writers said they, they were. No, yeah, the favorite. The predictions. I don't know. It was no, like, points. They just Northern predicted. No one was favorite to win state, they were saying. No one was favorite to win state. Yeah. And that's ridiculous. We beat them at 13, I think. You want to play two sports in college? Thinking about it, not sure yet. No. Is, is that a problem it's, it's with It's a lot of work, man. It's, it's a lot not. Of work. Why you say it's a lot of work, man? Right? Yeah, it's a lot of work. I mean, you know, okay, so you got football season. Once football season getting towards the end, basketball season is pretty much started. Yeah. Um, just say your team is good at football. That, uh, you know, say you go to the major bowl, the big bowl, that game go, <laughs> plays in January. Yeah. Basketball season is almost right. You almost at the halfway right there. You know what I'm saying? Because March Madness is like three months away. So right. Um, and then one thing I know when I did it, it took it took some games to get back into basketball shape. Basketball and football shape is different. People right. don't understand that. That's two different um, shapes. So you're not sure what you want to do? Nah, I'm playing football, but I'm not sure if I want to do both. When the coaches talk to you, they ask you that. <laughs> yeah. You try to see where your head at, try to see where your passion at? Yeah. Yeah? Well, not at? really. They just want to know just in case I want to play. It's not a problem if I play. Yeah. Yeah. You think it's a problem? Actually, you seen a problem with anybody else in the past? 
No, it's not. It's Michigan not. State got a player that's actually not. playing both sports. It's been numerous, uh, Texas and them got a commit that's playing both sports. You yeah. could, you could do it. You could yeah. do it. I mean, it, it depends. It, and then it does depend. Like, if you that superstar in basketball, they're going to tell you, but we don't want you to play football. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You that superstar in football, they were like, man, well, I don't want you to go out there. You know what I'm saying? But it's been Julius Peppers did it. Yeah. Ronald Curry did it. Charlie Ward. You know, it's been a lot of players that did it. Right. But, I mean, this, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. Like, I thought about it when I was going to go to college, but I was like, nah. I ain't gonna stick one spot. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. It's, it's a strong thought. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, you keep your options open, I guess. Yeah. I mean, when you go to one, you're narrowing them down. Yeah, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna play though. Nah. So, you play no youth football. Who put you at wide receiver? I was big as hell. They just, but just, that could have been anything, right? Nah, that could have went to D. That, that's what, I, that's what <laughs> I went out there for. I'm like, that's the only position I knew of. Yeah? yeah? I mean, it's not what I knew of, but like, that's the only position I was interested in, really. Really? Yeah. You. Cubs, right? Ass like a catch. Oh, well. So. Yeah. Being fast, then you want to catch the. Yeah. He said he didn't want to, he didn't like to hit. So yeah. that's one position <laughs> that don't really want to get hit. Fair receiver. Yeah? Yeah. But you were so you behind the power curve, right? Like, you had a lot to learn at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah. You, as a, this was ninth grade? I mean, like, it wasn't really a lot to learn for me. Yeah, I don't think it was. I mean, because I already had the footwork. Naturally uh-huh. athletic. Yeah, yeah. I was naturally athletic. Football. Yeah. yeah. Got you. So you went out that wide receiver, JV. What happened the first year? Uh, I scored ten touchdowns in five games, and then they moved me up to varsity. I ain't played that much though. Ten touchdowns in five games. Who were y'all playing against? Who? We played Gibbons, MacArthur, <laughs> and actually really? we had a losing season. <laughs> And you had 10, 10 touchdowns? Touchdown I had three games. versus Garden Gibbons. I would say that's two touchdowns per game. Yeah. Dang. And then they moved you up uh-huh. at the ninth grade and you didn't really play. Nope. And then what you did the 10th grade year? Uh, had, I think I had 11 in six games. 11 touchdowns? Yeah. My that was 11, doing my COVID grade. Right? Yeah. Okay. When did, you play that game? Game? Huh? when did all the attention come? January 1st. Do you remember the day? It was New Year's. And what How happened? could I forget? <laughs> what happened? Explain uh, it to us. It was it was like late night. It was like nine o'clock. Uh-huh. Um, I was outside popping fireworks, and my phone was in the house on the charger. Then I came in to get it, and my basketball coach, my mom, coach Hart, everybody blew my phone. I'm like, what the heck is about that? But I called my. I think I called. My coach first, my Go basketball. Oh, this coach first. It's like, Mama, be all right. <laughs> I don't know why. So he was like, Oh, Coach Harden trying to get in touch with you. I'm like, All right. So I called him. He's like, Yo, man, what you doing? Miami trying to talk to you. I'm like, What? Who's Miami? He said, The University of Miami. I'm like, Oh, man. I was outside. So then that's when I got on the phone with uh, Manny Diaz and uh, Coach Likens. Yeah? Yeah. You know, Likens loved them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> going, that's that was, crazy, man. That was the guy. You say, like, where you go? Going, man. You know he loved it because like, like, they really, they don't really like short. Yeah, yeah, like, he loved a big boy. But no, big that's, big like, and say, like, that was, that was, Hakeem was probably the number one on his board. Oh, really? You actually did that? Yeah. So, you were the first team to call you? First yeah. First team. Um, and that was off the sophomore season? Yes, sir. Ba- basically. Yeah. You saying come from camps or nothing like that? I didn't do no camps until after I got offers, actually. So explain to me this. When you won't call you, right? Mm-hmm. After that, how long ago were everybody else calling you? The next day, I got like three offers. How does that? I, so see, you won't offer college? That, that's what I think. They just <laughs> wait for me. someone. I think they wait for someone else to put a bid in yeah. to like make sure that they're looking at the right player. Or yeah. make sure that player's good. And then when someone offers, then they go and pitch. Man, I, I mean, I'm, all, I'm almost... 100% guaranteed that when you am offer kids, that's when everybody starts doing offers. Facts. I mean, I'm, that's just how I've been in the past. Facts. I mean, it, it brings they, attention to all the colleges because, like, oh, they just offer him who is this kid? Let me go see who this is. You think you will do it? Yeah. I, yeah. Every college does it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, when, 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 when a kid gets their first offer, right. the whole nation sees it. Right. So they're like, who is this kid that just got offered from this school? So they go watch the film. Like, okay, so here we go. Free play. game. So free game, right? If you um calls you, right, first, mm-hmm. 
That mean they evaluated you. That mean they want you. That mean they want, they're not calling you to say, oh, how you want right. They want so, you. So the other colleges who mm -hmm. pile on, mm -hmm. right, what do we call those offers? Like, because... Now, see, it depends, though, uh -huh. because some colleges would actually call you and say, okay, we want to offer you, and yes, this is a committable offer. Uh -huh. They're not just calling you saying, oh, you got to offer. Well, they actually tell y'all that now? Yeah. Yeah, you got to. Well, I ain't saying you got to. They wouldn't like that before. They used to yeah, nah, they they leave it in limbo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? but then you'll know if your offer is committable. Because, like, then that's when, after they offer you, they'll contact you uh, every week or so. Yeah. And that means they're actually interested in that. They're just not, it's just not an offer just floating around. You, so you, you paying attention to that, huh? Yeah. I don't think a lot of kids do. They, they, listen, I think they, they just want to. They don't. Explain to the, to the other players mm -hmm. the difference between a regular offer and a committable <laughs> Talk offer. To them. Uh, all right, a regular offer is just... Uh, hey, if we you can play football uh, <laughs> if you would like to come. I mean, yeah. But we a got committable an offer, like, if a school really wants you, they'll actually contact you and see how you're doing, not just on a football level, on how you're doing at home in school, how life's going, all that type of stuff. So, so a regular offer is is non-committable. You can't commit. Yeah, non-committable. So I wouldn't say that. I mean, I wouldn't say that. But like, I mean, it's not. They're not showing that much interest. They're not. Right. I wouldn't even say they're showing interest. It's just the offer. And then, cause like, I'm be honest with you. Uh, I think it was like two schools that offered me when I was in tenth. That after they offered me, I didn't hear from them until like my junior year. Mm -hmm. So. So basically, your college will call you and be like, man, oh, um, you know, have a conversation with you, oh, and then uh, we offering you, mm -hmm. um, you commit now if you want to. Some of them, not, don't, they don't even have a long conversation. No, no oh, wow. They yeah, just be like, hey, we offering you. That's yeah, it. I just want to let you know you got an offer from here, and yeah, you know. Them, I, well, I don't know. I was going to say, them schools don't sound too. So that's what so I'm that, saying. Let's make it clear to the people. The difference between a committable offer and a non committable offer, right? Mm -hmm. It's basically, you could say, hey, I want to call and commit today. And a non committable offer, he'll be like, hey, we got to go have a meeting. I'll talk to coaches, something like that. Man, you wouldn't even be comfortable with calling, coming into the school you don't even talk to, for uh, to be honest. Yeah, that's true. So you realize a lot of schools just throwing stuff out there. They just BS. Yeah. Like, Right, so that's the point I'm trying to get to the viewers because um, a lot of the offers aren't real. Um, yeah. I've, I've been there. I've been there. Numerous players when they got the, the final, the things, the, the, you know, the final thing, they, the letter of intent that they actually had to sign. They can have 30 offers, man. They get three of them things at the end of the day. Bro, I don't seen a kid with uh, a few like major D1 offers just get a acceptance letter to BCU. I'm like what? <laughs> What? So what you think? What happened there? Honestly, I don't know because yeah. colleges they actually they got your transcripts. Right. So most of them is not because of your grades. I think I any time in life you're doing business, like you're doing business with somebody, and they just on the phone talking. <laughs> you yeah, gotta look deep I think people. for the most part, um, being you know going through recruiting process myself and then coaching. And then seeing kids, I think a lot of it has to do with just interest. You know what I'm saying? Because they might not want that kid, but they might want somebody else that kid. Yeah, that's, that's true. Anyway. That's true. So let's show the interest. You know what I'm saying? To build where we can get in easy. Yeah. Instead right. of saying, if I don't show them the interest this year, I probably ain't gonna have a chance next right. year. Right. Right. A lot of colleges do that. You know what I'm saying? And so they, and that is definitely true. Yeah. That, I mean, that I've seen it. I've seen true. it. Like they do that. You know, I'm not saying it's wrong. Yeah. I ain't saying it's right, but that's just the game. You know what I'm saying? Right. You don't you don't really want a player who you don't want, you know what right. I'm saying? But I gotta show them some interest because I want the other player though I want next year. Right. right. Or it might be a, a, a situation where um what it is, uh it's two players that are on the same team mm -hmm. and they black like, um, oh, well, you gotta take both of them if you want. Fact. You know what I'm saying? If you want if you want Hakeem, yeah. you gotta take such and such too. Right. So now it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Let's just give them an offer there, you know what I'm saying? They do that, so it's like... Nah, they play with them. They actually do stuff like that. Nah, they, nah, they, they play with them. So why, 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 do, why do people feel like you um, lean to you women? Where did that come from? Because around the corner. And I'm always you? there. That's you the are always reason. there? Yeah. How many times are you on? I can't count on both hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How, how many times you been there? How many times you been there since Mario been there? Uh, twice, I think. Yeah. They, they tell you to come and down, or you can just go down there, there and hang out and I eat pizza. They will tell me I could. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, they will tell me to come. So you've been there ten times. 
Over. You been anywhere else? Yeah. Where you been? I've been to uh, Rutgers like, oh. How you got there? Like four or Rutgers. five times. Flu. Um, Rutgers, that's uh, Coach Shano right there, right? Uh -huh. Shano, that's the What's the interest in Rutgers? Like, how you been there four times? Uh, man. All right. Basketball. See, nah. It's how not even, bro, it's not like, see, when I was growing up, I never really watched football or nothing like that. So, like, just now getting to know about football and stuff, like, I don't really care about a school's record. No. Uh, it's just about, because I know I'm going to perform well as long as I'm comfortable wherever I'm at. So, and then there, I feel comfortable because the coach is there. So it's your relationship with them? Yeah, facts. But, so at Rutgers, who's the, who's the, who's the primary recruiter? He just left and went to Pitt. The receiver coach, Coach Oh, Underwood. yeah, yeah, he did leave. And then uh, Coach Fran, he just left and went to Georgia. So. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, man. Yeah. You can build relationships <laughs> with coaches and then they man. leave and now you got to oh. build a whole other relationship. I mean, that's, that's, that's what it is at this point. They not well, they know it's, it's it's crazy, here because it's happening so much. Now. I know, bro. Like, it's like it happened, it happened, but it's so happening much. like constantly every yeah every just, week. You can't even recruit. You can't even commit to a coach. So saying. when they call your phone, just be like, Nah, coach, you tripping. Bro. We gonna have on another color next week, man. Show I'm me something saying, that's there. Show boy. me a building or something, man. Show me something that's gonna be man. here. So you done been to Miami the most of Rutgers. So you been there how many times with Mario? Three times, you say? Twice. 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 Anything yeah. different in? Man, you can just feel the energy there, like it's positive energy. Like every you can tell that the, the vibe around there changing. Yeah? Yeah. So you met you met the whole well, okay, well you went the, the whole coach staff wasn't put together just yet. See when I went, Coach McClendon was still there. McClendon, B Mac. Right. He's at Georgia now. The rat. So like He calling you from Georgia? Yeah. Yeah? I'm going up there. Yeah. So I got a few dates that so you got some visits yeah, you go um, doing spring or something? A lot. Yeah. You get you get what a five officials, right? Yeah, you get five. You gonna, but you gonna do official during the season or doing yeah, season? Okay. That's the, the best season. time. You know where you're going? Season. I know where I'm going. Yeah? yeah? You know what five you wanna go to already? Yeah. Really? Well, I know what three I wanna go to. I'm still thinking about the last two. It's a secret food, we're gonna wait to put it out. You you, you um, well, that's on you, fool. If you wanna run it like that, that's on yeah, you. Yeah, because I don't know what's going to happen. I just don't know what's going to happen. What do you mean? Explain the coaches. Oh, <laughs> they be gone. No, Don't listen, man. You see what that is, man. Man. Is it happening more now or something? You know what I'm saying? It's happening more. Yes. It's happening more than it normally. Like, yes. coaches stay a couple years. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like one year and they go. One so, year to one week. Yeah, bro. Coach so McKenzie just came yeah. from Oregon. <laughs> He was down there for like two weeks, bro. Yeah, yeah. He was just telling me how he just got his new house down here, all that. Some man is back all the way in Georgia. I'm like, what the heck? You told him that? Yeah. Fool, what you doing, fool? Oh, man, what? <laughs> he told me I was trying to tell you. I'm like, what? Man. What he said? What was his excuse? Nah, he was just, you know. I went back home. Better coach. I mean, that ain't where you from, but better, he been there for a he while. He get a better opportunity. You know, yeah, he just it. won that championship. Yeah. Nah, man. So, so okay. So you see it. You can't commit to a coach. I mean, you talking about a it week? Depends, though. You talking about a week now, right? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to be there three years, four years. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't know. It depends, like your relationship with that coach. Like, I got some great relationship with a few coaches. Man, we got so, kids like, on the team now. Like, say, say Porter, right? Mm -hmm. Was recruited. Oh, Paul, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was recruited by Adai. By Adai to yeah. Georgia. Now Adai's at Miami. That's all of that. Like, you can't really. Well, no, no, no. He was recruited by Adai when Adai was at West Virginia. Right, right, right. And then Adai, then Adai leaves. goes to Georgia. Georgia, Georgia. Comes, comes to Miami. Miami. And then Porter jumps transfer. in the yeah. transfer portal. Right? So, what y'all, um, what's trying to handle like next year? Oh, no, I ain't been out there yet. Yeah. No? Nah, I ain't been out there yet. Y'all lost a lot? Last year? Yeah. Nah, we had a winning season. No, you're saying the players. Y'all lost, lost a lot of players. Oh, lost yeah. Players. <laughs> lost like 14, 15 seniors. Really? Wow. And they were all the starters. So what's the plan? Coach over there? Coach got a plan? Hope so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah. The quarterback, quarterback coming back? back? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's, what, that's your main focus right nah, there. Nah, my main focus is the old line. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Talk to me. Why your main focus is the old line? You got to protect my quarterback. 
so he can get you the ball. Facts. Yeah, well, that's that's. Me There's so too. much got to go into a wide receiver being successful for um, me. What? I remember when I made the video, uh, five reasons why playing wide receiver suck. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Oh my God, people were going in on me, fool. Like, yeah. But it's the truth. It's like so much got to go right for a wide receiver to be successful. Like, all y'all want to play it. Bro, exactly. <laughs> Everybody want to play a receiver right. But they want to go, Bruh. That's all they want to do. Uh, Throw me the feed. Throw me the feed. Like, bro, it's so much <laughs> more than that, bro. Yeah, uh, what's what's the day he told me, man? Uh, Lights out told me that's what it is, fool. They just want to go, blue. That's, that's all they want to do. Oh, throw me a feed. Throw me a feed. Like, bro. If you don't block somebody, tell me I throw you a feed. So y'all trying to, you be trying to recruit some kids or something, man? You got a whole bunch of them on self for this bridge. You be out there sometimes? I do, but like, dang. I just want to play football. Yo, yo, yeah, yo, big deal to you? What's the biggest game you had last year? Maybe Boyd Anderson game. What you did? I had like three touchdowns. Against VA? Yeah. Y'all blow them up? That's big. Smashed them 40 zip. Yeah, that's big time. Yeah. Especially after they were talking. Is that the end of the season or something? No, nah, it, was, it was towards the end. Yeah? Yeah. Who oh, must not play running back at the end, right? He played, he, he played he all season. Y'all just didn't he notice. Did. He, played, yeah. he played both ways all season. Why didn't they notice to the end of the season? Because that's when he was going off. That make it easier for well, you. Well, like, I want to say going off, but like we started using him more at running back towards the end of the season. Yeah? Yeah. How many touchdowns you had in all this year? Nine, I believe. Yeah, nine. Nine. So what was your stats? You had how many how many yards and you had nine touchdowns? I had thirty catches, seven hundred and fifty yards. And you only played offense, you ain't doing no defense? I played DN. Played DN? Oh, you know what? You did play DN. I take that back. <laughs> BA was not my best game. Cardinal Gibbons was. Oh, you went off on Cardinal Gibbons? I had a fumble recovery. I had a I had like four four sacks. Uh, yeah. A pick six. We only played three quarters. I had a pick six at the end. Uh, I had like three quarterback hurries. Um, I had like. This on your huddle? No, not at the end. Why not? Mm -mm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> 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 your boy, how to play? But look, yo, they still yo, find him. They like, I see you uh, playing on that DN. Playing that DN one game. I'm like, how are they seeing that? They don't want the coach to know that. They don't want to play DN. Miami was at that game. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And they was like, we're not showing my uh, defensive coordinator that. Because you don't want to play DN. I mean, I don't care. As long as I'm playing receiver. <laughs> I play both. I, I love DN. That's the thing. It's fun. But you want to be a receiver? Yes. You're most successful. So the best game you had the season was at Cardinal Gibbons. No, at the end. Let's the get, to the, the end. get to the money. <laughs> I mean, yeah. actually, you can say that I was doing them on offense too. Yeah. Yeah. I was killing them. That boy said he ain't yeah. put the plays up there. I didn't. You don't want to. He just said. It. He said, man, they don't show this to the defense coordinator. Just show the offense. Yeah, he <laughs> said. He said. He said. Uh, cause that was because like on his day, he was like, he's not showing that to the uh, defense coordinator. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't have said that. I had a 60 yard punt that game, too. Punt return? Punt. Oh, punt. oh you punt? You, you the punter? Yeah? I played punter and kicker. Who told you how to punt? My foot. You just. <laughs> I always kick the ball. the hardest thing to do, fool. Kick a field goal and punt the ball. All right, kicking a field goal, that's the <laughs> hardest thing to do. I can't yeah. kick a field goal, but nope. I can kick and punt. So yeah. you the punter? Y'all fake it off there? Mm -mm. No. I can punt. I mean, if we're going to fake it, we might as well just run a regular play. I guess. I, nah, it's, you know, um, surprise, you know. We're going to punt the ball and then, because you fake it. I mean, you just run a regular play, they just going to put their regular defense out there. Actually, we faked it, but it was not supposed to be fake, and I was not at punter. We played a sterile, and we had our linebacker at punter because he can punt. Mm -hmm. And then we had Taiwan at receiver. And these fools tried to throw a fade. <laughs> they, they did not convert. I'm like, wow, these boys. Trying to get those Sadly. They but you like had a big game. Yeah. Really? But they, all right, it was like 20, 21, 8, 22, 8 at halftime. And then they came out and scored two quick touchdowns. And that was it. And then the game got canceled because of Lightning. And you had four sacks? I like think it was quarters? like four. Yeah? 
The game was deep. Huh? It was deep too. It was deep. Where what? was that? It was at Carnegie Gibbons. It was at Carnegie Gibbons. Edge, best tasting energy drink on the planet. Hit my link in my IG description at Chase Four Smith. Get you a 12 pack. We're going to get to some you on questions, man. Um, how you feel about you on the new coaching staff um, that, 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 that's down there in Carl Gibbons right now? You have got an amazing coaching staff right now. Yeah, so you met the uh, the new uh, wide right receiver coach, Coach Gaddis? Yes, sir. Yeah, he called you as soon as he got in town? As soon as he got there. What did you think about him? That's a great coach. Uh, I'm in a group chat with him, with him oh, Coach yeah. Clint, uh, no, Coach Cristobal and Coach uh, Cooney. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, for the for the for the uh, the, the staff that's there, who like, who who's the favorite that you like to talk to all the time, or that that does the most communication with you? Coach Cristobal. Coach Cristobal, <laughs> the, the head coach. Yeah. <laughs> The head coach, so this, so it's really true. The, the man on wow. sleep. What, what time are you texting you in the morning? Six thirty, seven o'clock in the morning. And say I got what? a group chat with him. It's me, him, my mom, and uh, Coach Gaddis and Coach Cooney. In a group chat? Yeah. He yeah. say six six thirty in the morning. Six thirty, seven o'clock in the morning. You just get before I out your eyes. Just, nah, I ain't even get ready to go to school yet. What do you give you words of wisdom as you want collada? What do you say? Yeah, you say stuff like that. You be like, good morning, have a great day at school, have a great, amazing day from the you, stuff like that. Does that stuff make a difference? Does that mean yeah. a lot to you? It does. Yeah. How it make you feel? First of all, when you're contacting your head coach every day, that's not many kids are getting. Contacts from, from head coaches. coaches. So yeah. like, that's a that's a big priority. That's major. That, I mean, it's major because a head coach, and that's why I said about Chris Ball, for him to do what he does is is kind of it's it's not it's rare. Yeah, a machine or something, man. I don't know yeah, it's a rare. Because remember, we I've seen he, he calling the kids at four in the morning. I'm like, well, whoa, whoa, like mm -hmm. that's what is he doing? Like. When is he getting time to sleep and stuff like anything, that? Anything anything they've done that surprised you in recruitment yet? Look how late Cristobal came in this year and look how many kids he signed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think he when, signed more kids than uh, I think um, Coach Diaz had committed. Yeah, it was nine. Right. Because it was uh, five, five when he got here. And then nine, he signed, he signed five, oh, nine. High school kids, mm -hmm. and then if you add in the um, the portal kids, which is five, five. Or six, six. So six. yeah, I mean when 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 Diaz was there, we was ranked in the seventies, yeah. and then we ranked fifteen on signing day. Yeah, like fifteen, thirteen, something like that. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. You went down that day. I interviewed you. You was going down there on the visit that day, right? Nah, that was the yeah, that was junior day. That was junior day, right? Yeah. Um, oh, that was, oh, okay. That was the elite thing. Then. Yeah. Elite prospect. Was it? Was it organized? Or how was it? Talk to us about. Yeah, it, it was. It was. All right. When we got there, we did a little tour of the campus, and then I was with Coach B Mac the whole time, and then um, they had a photo shoot room, but like it was different. Just different. <laughs> what? It was different. Dang, you didn't get to put the chain on this year? Dang. You made the, you made the, you made the video? Dang. Yeah. You did make a video? Yeah, I made it. It's on your page? You put it up? No, nah, I ain't posted it. No? Nah. I got it though. Were you holding it for holding it for a certain time or something? I just didn't post it. I ain't. <laughs> I was going to post it. I don't know why I ain't posted it. You must be in here no swag. You must be in there. Nah, I just, <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't what? post it. I ain't. No? Nah. I should have done. So you been, um, you been to some of the games last year? I went to every home game except every, like one or two. Every home game, you're going to be planning on coming to some games this year? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's going to be definitely a difference. Um, the right receiver position um, has, has has gotten better. Um, Man, they got some tough receivers there, boy. Yeah? Who, who, which one on the team you like the most? That's tough. They got some tough receivers. Been the receivers uh, that I really like last year. What receiver you you kind of um, mimic your game after you know you, which NFL college uh, former former player it don't it don't have to be a current player. Metcalf 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 DK Metcalf yeah oh um oh DK Metcalf yeah, yeah. Oh, dang you thought you were talking about David Metcalf <laughs> 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 I'm about to say huh <laughs> yeah yeah no that's man that's a beast <laughs> that man is like. 
But he was I thought he was like 6'4". 6'4". 6'4 by 250. Yeah, he looked like he just a biting builder. Facts. But he run like a 4'2". Facts. I remember the play when um, the guy intercepted the ball and he ran him down. Mm -hmm. Ran him down. That man oh, different. Man. Yeah. Yeah, he good. That's a good player to me. Um, yeah, man. So you got some visits coming up in the soon. You plan on visiting you on? I mean, officially or unofficially? I mean, because you say you go down there just anytime you want to. Uh, I don't plan on visiting them officially. Not sure yet if I want to do that for sure, but. Yeah. Um, but you go down anyway. Because you've been there 10 times. Yeah, you've been yeah, there yeah, yeah. See, right, ex explain that part, because we, we, you've been there 10 times already. Sometimes you want to use the official yeah. visits to go yeah, to the other schools. See, like, yeah. see the other there. schools. Yeah, stuff. facts. I mean, Mario's going to be calling you when you're at the other schools, dog. He's so with you. I'm going to ask you a yeah. question, right? Okay, so mm -hmm. um, just say you do commit to UM. You want mm -hmm. um, they have a true freshman record um, that Michael Irvin held for so many years. Um, Amar Richards comes and breaks the record. Um, how, you know, if you do commit to UM, would that be something you'll be trying to do? Break I'm trying to break record? records everywhere I go. Oh, okay. That's the plan? That's the plan. Y'all gonna win state, bro? Like, Camera right now. down, you look at that people. Y'all gonna win state? Y'all heard it here first. We're winning states this year. Say it, say it with your chest. Y'all heard it here first. We're winning states this year. I got two That's games right. right? Two games. But it's four teams up there, right? It's two games. Two games. There's four teams. You know all the three other, other teams are? I don't know them. You don't know? They don't know us. Who y'all got this week? I mean, Pine Forest. Pine Forest. So y'all to play y'all play on Wednesday and then the, nah, the, we play on Thursday. And Thursday, then Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How many points you average? I average 12. From what, four position? Mm -hmm. I average okay. 12 and 10. So if you was to go play football, you just could get a shot to play basketball in another school. Yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. It'll so, be like, um, uh, what, what's that, Team Martin sign? He's going yeah, baseball. For baseball. Yeah, baseball. You, um, and then he's, he's going to try out for football, too. All right. But tell people where they follow you at, man, on Instagram. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at thatboykeem, uh, T-H-A underscore B-O-I dot K-E-E-M. And you don't do on Twitter too? On Twitter, it's the same thing without the uh, dot. That so boy king? Yes, sir. The, um, you on TikTok, you don't be dancing or nothing? Nah, that? man. You know, TikTok, well, you get the followers real fast. That's why people like being on there. That's why people like being on there. I'll be on there for entertainment, but nah, I ain't on TikTok. Okay. All right, man, we got here, man. You got big man, I can't win, man. Um, but before we get out of here, what's your background, bro? Um, I just look. A, a little neighborhood kid growing up, <laughs> man. I was just. Where your parents from? We're from Fort Lauderdale. My yeah, mom is from Fort Lauderdale, and my dad's from Mississippi. Yeah, your mom from Fort Lauderdale, your dad's from Mississippi. So you got some type of geeky in you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Y'all make sure y'all stay locked in, like, sure. share. Big Man King said they're gonna win state. Yes, sir. We'll see. Facts. Go take three motherfucking days, and that's what? Big time player.